นะโมตัสสะภะคะวะโตอะระหะโตสัมมาสัมพุทธัสสะนะโมตัสสะภะคะวะโตอะระหะโตสัมมาสัมพุทธัสสะนะโมตัสสะภะคะวะโตอะระหะโตสัมมาสัมพุทธัสสะปุตังดมังสังขังนามาสามี Can you hear clearly? Okay. <clears throat> A couple of days ago, Ajahn y a r a h a t o asked me whether I can give them a talk tonight, and I am so grateful for the opportunity to. Gave a dharma talk dealing with my practice, and I would like to take this opportunity uh, to express my gratitude to my mother. Who passed away 14 years ago, and who is my first teacher? Tonight, I, re- I would like to share with you all uh, the topic of feeling. Why s I choose this topic? It is how my how I spend my daily life. Uh, what's a lot of s a t i and s a m p a n j a n a Which means that, with mindfulness and with attention, fully awareness. Why is that? Because everything in this body. Is worn out. So everything, every movement, everything I done, I have to be very careful with full awareness. Uh, otherwise, uh, I can fall down easily, and all of my movement also slow. So tonight I share my. Uh, old age experience with you, which you you can read, but this is a real thing that from my own experience. Uh, the feeling, that if we put that into the format. But is that the Lord Buddha provided to us is a four number truth. So the feeling, I put it in s i t e of the first. Uh, this is a the first number truth is this is a suffering, and feeling is suffering. So what is the origin of the suffering? And the cessation of the sufferings, and the way how to uh, develop in order to uh, arrive to the cessation of the suffering or the feeling. In this case, is a feeling. So, because of my background is in mathematics. 
So everything ideal I saw is a, like mathematic ways, which means that this is a, this is a uh, problem, and this is the solution. So the problem is a hypothesis. What other thing that uh, we put in the hypothesis, which is the, the knowledge, the knowing? You use that knowing, knowledge, in order to solve the problem. Okay. So people said that there is a uh, suffering. There's two kinds of suffering, and what are they? The physical, the body suffering, when you have an accident or you cut your, fing your fingers and they have blood come out, and you suffer, there's physically suffering, a, fe a feeling. And the other one is mental feeling. The mental feeling is when you have the physical feeling and then you want to, it's hurt, you say that's hurt, unpleasant, because you want not to, to have that wound, uh, and, uh, 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 and then you keep thinking when or try to get something to fix it, uh, and then the, 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 the worry on that is a mental feeling. Yeah. But where is the feeling? Where is the feeling? The, 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 the feeling was in the five aggregates, right? And the second one, the first one is the body. Sec, second one is the feeling, Vedana. And the third one is a sanya, perception, uh, sankara, mental formation, and consciousness, vijnana. So feeling is in there. But is it a feeling is, is material belong to the, the body or the mind? In this case, the feeling is in the mind. So in the body and the mind, nama rupa, in the nama, you have four of them. You have feeling, you have a perception, uh, mental formation, and consciousness. That four factors that belong to nama, the form, and the body, is the the uh, rupa okay usually when we begin to meditate the teacher told us to watch your breath okay the breath with the breath in the body you inhale you watch the inhale we watch the exhale Keep watching that. But the mind cannot stay still, cannot, cannot, cannot stay watching the breath. So we have to find ways in order to, 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 to see that feeling, you see? So see? Because feeling belongs to the nama, so it's abstract. But in these ways, uh, it's not concrete, abstract. So, we usually, at the beginning, for the beginner, uh, we use that breath. All 32 parts of the body, you do contemplation of the body in the body, within the body, within the body much easier to use, you know, the 32 parts of the body, the hair, the head, hair of the body, you know, all of those. 
32 parts, much easier in order to ground the feeling, ground the mind. You know, that's the reason why you use that, your body first. I did not, I did not uh, dare to use the feeling yet because the mind keep wander around. It's a simile that uh, uh, that uh, uh, we can compare the the five aggregates, the five groups, you know, that form the body and the mind. Uh, like uh, uh, in the simile that a hunter that uh, catch the animals, there are six animals, you know, like a crocodile, <coughs> the crocodile, the snakes, the uh, dogs, the monkey, uh, jack owls, okay. you know, six of them. And then they tie, the, 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 the hunter tie them together in a knot and let go, leave them. So each animal goes to their own domain the animal, the, 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 the crocodile like to go to the water, the pond. Well, the snake want to go into the hole. The monkey want to go into, into the tree. So you see, each one have their own domain. So whoever's stronger can drag all of those. They go together and they fight. You see, until until that's the strongest one lose energy and the second one go up. You see, and then the, they 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 some kind like uh, find each one like to run around, but cannot move farther because they were tied together. So, at the end, all of them just no more energy to move around. Okay, after a while. So the hunter find other solution not to have them run around so much like that. So they tie into a pole so nobody can run anywhere, just stay around, around the pole. The animals here is representing the uh, five aggregates. When you sit down, meditate, and the and the body is grounded, grounded, the, the, so the the mind cannot get out of that, and that's the way to calm the mind. <coughs> so in the in the meditation, to give another formula that we have always apply apply until now. You know, the the formula was you start with vitaka which means that you direct a thought and vichara, you sustain the thought or you investigate by investigating the, investigating the thought and then after that, piti, rupture, and sokha, and uh, pleasant, and then aikakata, one-pointedness. So always, when you solve the problem, in this case, today, tonight we talk about feeling. We put the feeling in, that the thought go into the feeling. So when we sit down, meditate, anything deal with feeling, pleasant and unpleasant, this is a, the case where the feeling have two, pleasant and unpleasant. And so you see that <clears throat> you, you have that, we have that feeling in, and you contemplate that, you, you, you do the vichara, uh, analyze that, you know, pleasant, unpleasant, yeah? And then after a while, because the mind you to run away, but in this case, we say no, you only see that, you only do that, you only see the, the, uh, 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 the uh, pleasant feeling or unpleasant feeling, too. After a while, the mind tired and it 
and then some kind like cannot move anywhere. So I get into pity, rupture of tired, and then we have a lot of energy later on. So, and then you can calm the mind into called one pointedness. So, in, in, the, in that case, I like to go in that in much detail because we have our winter retreat halfway already finished. So, then on the halfway, so if you can pick something tonight, you can use it, and that will be wonderful. That's the reason why I go. So bear with me. You already know, so, so you can just check back or just, just listen and for those who don't know, and then it's a very helpful you know, to use that. But that kind of formula, for that kind of template, use all the time. Yeah. You use all the time. Every time when you have a problem to solve, put it to that. Now, the, the feeling, they, they have a, uh, they have how many feelings do you have? So two, bodily feeling and mental feeling. But another person come with the, they, they talk to each other. They, I, I, this I gave that this example is come from the suttas in Machima Nikaya, number fifty four, I think, nearly fifty four, fifty five. The kapata asked the monk, "How many feeling?" Uh, two. And he said, no, I heard three of them. What are three? So, pleasant feeling, painful feeling, and neither painful nor uh, pleasant feeling. So, three. Hey, I heard more than that. A five feeling. So, at the end, the Lord Buddha explained how 108 kinds of feeling. Yeah. And then uh, the, 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 the fifth one, the fifth one, the five feeling, why five kind, five kind of feelings are the two bodily and, uh, and mentally, plus the three we have there, you know, so five. And this is this, no six. Yeah. Where does this a six come from? Six kinds of feeling, and then 18 kinds of feeling, because each feeling go through the, uh, the uh, six senses base. Now, where does feeling come from? The feeling come from contact. There is contact. Contact between what and what. So we have we have in our body here a six sense base. We call sense base. Eyes, eyes, sense base. Ears, nose, tongue, and then the, what is it? The body and the mind. Eyes, ears, nose, tongue, the body, and the mind. Six. Yeah? Six sense base. Each six sense base have, have six uh, external object, six object that correspond to this six sense base, which are for the, the eyes need the form sight. Eyes 
sight, uh, ears, sound, nose, uh, sm uh, uh, odor, smell, taste, tongue, tongue, the taste, flavor. Uh, what else? The other one, the 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 body, tactile. And the sixth one is a thought, a mental, mental uh, object. So those are external, six in, internal, six external, or six sense base and six sense objects. So if those six, each one of them have consciousness, I consciousness, we all learn until like uh, the uh, mind consciousness. So if the, the, the desire come in, I want to see this. From seeing that, see the I see the object, you know, the, 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 to see the object have the I consciousness come, come in. So through the contact, contact, between the between the sense base and sense object there they have a contact the result from that contact is feeling where do i get that formula from from dependent origination so this is a given you need to know those each sense base have uh, that kind of like I start the, the 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 eyes 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 with a form and eye consciousness when the tree meet and the contact and then that contact have the 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 result from that contact the feeling come in the way the now come in yeah so the origin the origin of the, the, the feeling is a contact. Yeah. So if no contact, no feeling. But in, the, in life, when we need to have contact. So how do we handle that after con the contact? Yeah. Either you, you after the contact, either you stop there because you think, yeah, I don't need it. So no feeling, neutral feeling. Sometimes you don't act, don't do anything through ignorance. Sometimes through knowing, because that harmful, that that the uh, that is wholesome, or is not wholesome or unwholesome. You drop it. If wholesome, you take it. If unwholesome, you drop it. So you have to make decision on that. This is another step. Yeah. And then the 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 the, the feeling. Uh, we we just say we just get that because we know from dependent origination that the origin of the feeling is contact. Through contact, feeling arise, exists. So this is also given, you see? The dependent origination is given. So we have to know it, yeah. And then another one also, they say that usually when the feeling happen, whether pleasant or unpleasant, I always put it in. I always put, if not pleasant, it's, it's my karma. It's a karma. But it's not only karma. Yeah? It's come from, this come from, come from. Uh, karma is one of them. Yeah? Usually, because there has a distorted, the thing in the body, 
like the bowel was distorted, the phlegm, they have eight of them, the bowel, phlegm, uh, the wind, in balance, the, the, those three that not balance, could four, the climate, the temperature, climate change, uh, not not careful, and the karma in. So there are sort of the, the kind of eight factors that uh, the the feeling can come from, not only karma. So the, the kind of feeling that um, every day when I woke up, I always some kind like uh, what you call swept the body to see, to detect where is hurt, where is not hurt, where is that pleasant, unpleasant feeling right away in that. And through also for the, the beginner, or if your mind goes so fast, you can slow down. In my case, I did not need to because it's already slowed down. If I want to go fast, I cannot, I, I, I might fall. So, the 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 the, the uh, slow motion that also train the mind to be calm, so you can see the feeling. The mind, when I talk of the mind, is also the feeling in there, and then and you, you can see clearly. Yeah, be present all the time. Present all the time, just present. It's not enough. You have to be accompanied with uh, fully awareness. Sate sampanjanya. Sate will tell us is some kind of recollection. But we, uh, usually sometimes we say the mindfulness. But sampanjanya, which is, which is the they uh, mean that they are uh, fully aware. Fully aware of what? Sati Sampanya, that I use all the time. Fully aware of the mind in the four places, four foundation of mindfulness. So another one you need to know. Mindfulness in the body, you know, um, Sate Patan, four, the body, the feeling, the mind, and the Dhamma. So, recollect all of those to make sure that the mind not run away from those four places. Yeah. The, the Dhamma is a combination of the whole, the other three. The body, the uh, Vedana, and the mind. The Dhamma is a combination of all those. And that's the reason why when we do the chanting, the Dhamma is well expounded by the Blessed One, apparent here and now, timeless, encouraging investigation, leading in words, and to be experienced individually by the wise. So on that, 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 that uh, uh, thing there, that Dhamma there, uh, it's a very, very useful, very useful. It have, it have in that thing that be present, timeless, and you have to experience it. Otherwise, individually, otherwise you don't know. 
Yeah. The experience that we do every day according to our habit. And I know now the experience that I have, uh, I forgot a lot of them. The, the, the minor things, but I remember when I was young more than when I was now or a couple of years ago. But the one I experienced from the meditation still remain. Still remain. Very interesting. That's no wonder that you have the experience individually by the wise. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the wise because wise in there is you have an intelligence in that, wisdom in that. Yeah. It is a uh, very very interesting. So now, what are the tool we have now? We have. Five aggregates, we have four noble truths, we have four uh, foundation of meditation. All of those you need to know and understand very well in order to be able to use it for what? For investigation. Yeah. If you don't know all of those, is 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 what what you sit down meditate, you don't see anything, or you keep some kind like uh, don't know what to do, just only see the. Good, 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 just only calm the mind, don't know what to do with the mind, don't know how to investigate. Uh, Sometimes you use you, 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 through observation. This is also the, the given, also the something you know through observation. Because people, people cannot tell you everything. We have to learn through observation. Through studying, studying the Dharma book. At the beginning, you study like somebody like Ajahn Amaro, Ajahn, uh, the book written by him. You like him, you see his experience, so you want to, to know more, so you read his book. Yeah? But at the end, at the beginning, I, that's what I did. So many, uh, these are very uh, 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 knowledgeable teachers. We just read it, but each one of them have their own experience, tainted by their culture, and it's hard to understand sometimes. Yeah? So that's the reason why people try to learn the Pali language in order to be able to translate the Tripitaka which was written in Pali language. Yeah. Nowadays, I turn myself back to the Tripitaka. You see, that's the reason why is I can see that like, like hit a, 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 a treasure of knowledge. It's so many things before I was not interested at all. Yeah. But through learning how to meditate and think just manifest so many phenomena that manifest during the meditation, then make me inspire me so much that I want to know more. So right now, <laughs> I, I just go from one book to another, you know, more, the Tripitaka, you know. Before, before, I was not interested at all because I keep repeating all the time. I'm interested only there is a problem and what is solution. I interest in the solution. I do not want to know about the problems. 
Yeah. And so keep repeating. Then I realized that the repetition there because of during that time so was the thought everything was not written down, was taught by 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 voice, by you know, listening to the Dhamma talk. Uh, and that's the reason why you keep repeating at least three times. Yeah. You bow also three times to make sure that this is a bowing. Yeah. You you uh everything three times and that bothered my mind in the beginning. But now after you have your own experience and you can see more and more uh, uh, through reading and then you can use that reading and then uh, try to find out by yourself by uh, investigation through meditation. Yeah. There was one day we got the chance to meet Ajahn Amaro. And uh, I asked him the question. Uh, one question that I, I said that everything, uh, the knowledge through, should be through meditation, through concentration, through samatha and vipassana. Without that, you don't get uh, the true knowledge. Uh, so I I don't know. So I asked him. Then then the answer was so clear that through the meditation, the meditation is the the uh, uh, the, the, the give you the uh, the clear mind. You know. You, you give, the, give you the clear mind, and then the experience use that use that tool in order to uh, uh, realize the truth. This was so clear to me. So now I I just enjoy it. Yeah. And I, there's another one I'm asking, and I realize it. Every day they would sit down, meditate here. Um, what do you think? Because you're like, what, what are you thinking? Do you need to think? Or you need to only watch, watch the breath? What do you do? And for those who practice a long, long time, I just go go into the sound of silence for those who know it. Do and then sometime, sometime, sometime some idea come in. Like there was one time I talked about I want really to know what is a non self. Yeah. Non self. How do you know a non self? then I never see it. And then there's so many simile. It was written in the, uh, in the uh, uh, Tripitaka. The, the dependent origination, everything run by the mind and the body. The body is something that the mind need to have it so the mind can, can think can that without the mind, the body is just a lump, nothing. They have to have the mind to go in. Like when you think, when you when when one think, then then the, the faculty of thinking there, the sankhara come in, mental formation come in right away. The dependent origination start with, start with the um, ignorance, abhijja, pachaya, sankhara. Yeah. Yeah. 
And then through dependent origination, that everything done by the mind and the body, the mind, when the body worn out, the mind find other way to get out of the body at the end of the life. Yeah. So because because of the thing we say that our self, that's what we suffer so much. Yeah. You cling to it, the five clinging aggregates. This is mine, my nose is mine. Bodhipala is mine, it is myself, this is what I am. But in reality, you don't own nothing, you own nothing. In reality, no own nothing. Yeah. But that kind of thing that you know it through reading, through conception, but we have to meditate in order to see it. Yeah. You, you can see clearly. That's the reason why this is the, the, uh, the, 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 just to solve the end of the suffering, the end of feeling, is we have to use, to have, a, to use the, 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 you have to develop, understand, very clear on the path leading to the realization of the truth. The path at the beginning we learn that oh we need to know the sila what is the morality the precepts the discipline, sila, will lead you to samadhi, so you can concentrate. Yeah. Why we need to concentrate? Because you we want to develop the wisdom, sila, samadhi, panya. Yeah, but the path is the reverse of that. We start with samadhi, so we start with. Wisdom. Mm. The wis wisdom, smartity, and then right intention, right view, right intention. If you have right view, you come out with right thought, right thought with right speech, right action, right livelihood. Yeah. Those is a noble. So you start with with intelligence first, with, with wisdom, with the uh, right view. This is a very, as everything, everything goes as a fine ways how to end the, the, uh, the feeling. The feeling, you see, that I'm not arrived at yet, but just through the reading, the cessation completely eradicate a cessation, uh, completely eradicate the feeling is the highest one, feeling and the sanya, and, and the perception completely eradicate through the highest level of uh, meditation. So the, 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 the formless, yeah, formless. So the consciousness, not, not consciousness, you know, not consciousness, Space, the like the, we 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 have space and then infinite space, then infinite uh, uh, consciousness, and then the, uh, infinite infinite uh, perception, uh, feeling, and yeah, perception and feeling is the highest level. But we do not need that. We need only just good enough to uh, be able to eradicate the sufferings. Is it interesting? It seemed like, it seemed like, 
And the thought just keep come in. That's the reason why I keep talking. Yeah. The investigation this is very important because if the mind keep going here and there, concentrate little thing here, little thing there, uh, at the end of the day you get nothing. You have to have a long period of uh, concentration. When you arrive to one pointedness, when we arrive to one pointedness, that the mind already pure, calm. The five hindrances cannot emerge. And in order, do you know what, what are the five hindrances? The sensual pleasure, ill will, uh, slot and torpor, restless, remorse, and doubt. When we meditate, just you, you meditate just 10 minutes. Those things cannot arise, cannot uh, arise. And that's good already. So the aim for us is to be able to, to, to get rid at the beginning, get, get rid of the, that five hindrances. Yeah. And I, you can see some of us, you know, sometimes uh, when you come sit down and meditate, and the minute you start to meditate, you fall asleep. That's a waste of time. I do not know how, if, how, 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 uh, they know it, they know they fall asleep, but they don't know how to handle, yeah. But in, in the book they tell us, you know, when you, you like not to eat too much, after the meal, the digestion need to do, to, to be done, so, you fall asleep when you sit down. You, you, when you sit, meditate, you cannot handle that. So why do you do walking? We have four kinds of posture. You know? Nowadays, I use more on lying down posture. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, walking. You know, when my teacher showed me how to meditate, that those four posture. He start with lying down. So now, now I thank him so much. Lying down. I said, why lying down? I see people sit down, meditate all the time. You know, most of them sit down, made posture. And why my teachers start with lying down? I say, people die lying down. You get sick, you're lying down. And you're sick, you die, and you're lying down, see? So very important. So I learned before I cannot I cannot lie down for three hours, but through meditation I can do it. Yeah, and sitting, uh, and then the standing and walking. But most uh, most of the people who realize the truth is through sitting position, posture, rather than uh, walking or lying down. Yeah. Or standing. Yeah. Well, those who fall asleep, or you get slot and torpor, you just you just stand up and make sure. Uh, some of the, some of the uh, monks, you know, sit down on the uh, 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 close to the uh, the cliff. You cannot fall asleep. If you fall asleep, you fall down. Yeah. You find find ways. Find ways. For me, I never, never lie down after the meal. In that case, I walk. Yeah, yeah. So you, you know all of those. And walking, usually, when I walk, my mind always go here and there, listen to the sound of the bird and other things. And then, and then I, in the teaching, say that you can also, uh, when you start to walk, may I abide in emptiness. Yeah? 
emptiness. What is that? How can it be empty in the forest? When you they they, they give an example that there's a group of monks went to a house, and they say that this house so empty. Empty of what? They have empty of animals, empty of lay people, only the one who are present is monks. So this place is empty. He say empty of others. So we say empty. May I abide in an emptiness? So if you think, you think that I'm working on the five hindrances. So make sure that the five hindrances are absent during your walking meditation. That's what I, may I abide in emptiness, empty of, of the five hindrances. If the five hindrances come into your mind, then it's not empty. You understand now? Emptiness, always use that. You know, the... the 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 the, the some, something that uh, sorrow may I bite in, in emptiness so no sorrow in no no present anything that not present is empty so I hope uh, this evening, uh, very helpful. Uh, the reason I choose the feeling because we are in the environment where every day have a lots of uncertainty. With COVID, we we are lucky in here because we have the capacity to hold uh, to uh, hold the restriction. Uh, but outside is a mess. You can see in the world, it's a mess. Mess. So we are lucky. Somehow like we, I think, I think we live because of the, I believe in the Dharma, because we practice, practice, keep practicing, keep stay in the emptiness, because that, 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 that thing, I, I, I feel myself like some kind like, uh, kind of like uh, blessed by knowing how to meditate, how to take it or drop it. Because we're right now we can see we can see the whole white world is out of control. We can see all the whole white world is is a lot of dukkha, but that kind of will not belong to us. So you go, you raise above dukkha. Before I did not understand having the body, dukkha is coming with, with that. The suffering coming with that. But, but knowing the, the knowing, there is so many ways to understand, to, 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 to understand the, uh, the deathless. the non-self. If we take all the kind of clinging, wanting to have it, this is mine, all kinds of things like that, you never can, never can eradicate the suffering. You have to have above the suffering, but it's not yours. 
because it's not there. This kind of body and the mind, we just use it. Bodhipala just use that. Bodhipala is just a name. Just use that, and it's gone. You know. The 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 so has a feeling. The fe the feeling, when the uh, Lord Buddha gave an example of the uh, uh, the non-self, of the uh, the five aggregates. He 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 gave he compare the 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 body this body here like a lump of foam. You know. Emerge in the flow, flow along the river, and at the end there's nothing. The end of the the the, the journey is nothing, just a foam, not so, no foam at all. And the feeling is like raindrop, like like ball, the 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 ball the ball, the raindrop on the water, and then the ball explode. Nothing there. That's the feeling. It come and go. And also the feeling is in the the the, the feeling is in here in the in the in the body. And because the body is impermanent, so as a feeling is impermanent. Because it stay in the in the impermanent place, so the feeling should be impermanent. And feeling is as dukkha. Anything impermanent is is is, is suffering. Yeah, and that the feeling as the the the, the, the drop of, of the the uh, the the ball that ball that drop in the water and then disappear. So how about the 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 sanya, the perception? The percep perception, like a mirage, you know, when you are in the in the desert, then you see the perception, you see the road in front of you, is like water, you know. But when you arrive, there's no water, the mirage. And and the uh, mental formation is look like an onion or a plantain, the banana trunk. When you open the the uh, trunk one layer at a time, as it goes in the middle, there's nothing in there. See? And what is it? And the 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 uh, sankara, a mental formation. It's like that. It's form, and then nothing in there, no substance. All of five aggregates have no substance. And the consciousness is like a magician, and make it and gone, then you know, just disappear. Nothing. No no substance. So we see five the five uh, aggregates have no substance. No self in there. It's it come like that. Like a tree, it's come like that. When people gave the name in order to make it understand, there's no time. The time, I I think I remember last time, what is the, the definition of the time? The time is, they said, by definition, is the uh, interval between the desire and the end of the desire. When you start a desire, you want something, you get it, and that's the end of the desire. So we live in the world of desire. So we have to minimize the desire in order to have no time. No desire, no time. So I think... I would like to say thank you to you all for your attention. And may this Dhamma talk tonight be offering to Lumpur Sumato, which I respect him 
and pro great, profoundly respect him for his presence here. You know, a, a so good feeling to see him here with us. Eva. Eva. <laughs>